In today's episode of Level Up, we're taking a look at a really cool looking mic sitting right inside this handsome box right here. That's right, it's a stage right microphone called the Memphis Blue. Want to see what's in this box? So do I. Let's check it out in today's episode of Level Up. want to give a special shout out to Chris from Livestream Consultants. He's a member of this channel. Appreciate you, Chris, as he sent it over for me to review for you guys and take it out for a test drive. And that's what we're about to do. So no, no one sent this to me uh, except for Chris. And it's not mine. I get to send it back. So uh, yeah, n there's no skin in the game for me. Just taking it for a test drive, giving you guys my opinion at this. Uh, how, how expensive is this microphone? It is a da, 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 65 bucks. So let's open it up. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of padding in here. Just just look at that. That's It's got that, you know, presidential football case. Like there's something really special inside this thing. So good, good God. This thing is heavy. But man, this just got a beautiful, beautiful classic look to it. Just look at that. That is awesome looking. I love that blue. You know, I'm, you know, Detroit Lions fan. I love me some blue, uh, even though this is more like a like an LA Dodger or New York Giant blue, but it's blue nonetheless. And that is just a super cool look. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'll tell you what it reminds me of: Optimus Prime from the Transformers. It it's like a grill with that that blue that he has on him. Ah, just gorgeous. Looking at the front, we got an on off switch right here. Uh, on the bottom, we've got our mount. And then we also got the XLR input right there. And this is an all metal build. There is no denying the beastitude, the beastitude. We're making new words for this review, the beastitude of this mic. So yeah, it looks really cool. It's almost as big as my head. Okay, almost, but uh, yeah, this is huge. All right, let's go ahead and mount it to my boom arm right here and let's take it for a test drive. Here we go, it's plugged in, connected to my boom arm. There's a little bit of a process that was involved in that and we'll get to it in a second. Baby. You ain't kidding. But just, just to get this out of the way and let you guys know, it is plugged into my Rodecaster Duo. Processing is process. Bleh, 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 bleh. So I'm sitting right around negative 12 dB and I'm peaking at negative 5, negative 6 dB right where I like it. And in the Rodecaster Duo, that's uh, 52 dB of gain, dynamic, generic. Uh, profile and there are no presets no processing whatsoever this is what it sounds like out of the box and i really 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 like this sound so here we find ourselves on amazon let's take a look at it if you want to buy it again 65 dollars no coupons as of right now uh scrolling down about this item look like a king with the classic styling and performance microphones from the 40s and 50s sound like a king with the modern dynamic microphone technology with a super cardioid polar pattern internal microphone element is shock mounted to prevent handling and stage noise from interference with your performance or recording let's take a look handling noise that's not bad i have had worse not bad for $60 for as far as handling sound. Again, it is that 40s and 50s style microphone uh, shock mount on there. Diecast zinc metal housing is nearly indestructible and lasts longer than most bands. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Uh, let's scroll down to see what else we got from the manufacturer. It features a high quality moving coil pickup, high sensitivity, wide frequency range, and a super cardio polar pattern. Designed for voice use, it is a transparent sound with a slight presence peak, which enhances voice reproduction. It is perfect for both studio and stage. So there you go. It's a live performance and a studio microphone in case you want to start singing. Looking at the EQ curve that comes with it, you can see right here, nice, gentle, and soft low end, just enough to give you that low end presence to sit on. And then it's just kind of nice and tame and relaxed low mids to mids to high mids and then in the high end right there there's that presence peak it was talking about right about 9000 
shoots up and then it drops off a little bit after that and cuts off at 18,000 kilohertz. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm thinking I just might have to get me one for myself to keep here in my studio. I love it. I love this microphone. I'm so giddy. My face hurts. I've been smiling so much throughout this entire video because it just stokes the nostalgic flame. When I was on the radio uh, for a high school radio station, I had my own show uh, once a day for about an hour. And I just, I was using the RE20 and I loved it. But man, I wish I had one of these. I can't, I'm just looking at the monitor and I just, I just want to go live. I want to do, I want to go live. He's at his computer now. Do you want to join the show? What's up, guys? That's good. What's going, going on, man? Okay. Mrs. K. Wow, that's a cool looking mic. That is a monstrous <laughs> mic. Huge. Yeah. <laughs> that is, uh, <laughs> if you look down in the comments, Miss K, live stream consultants. That is his mic. It is. Yes. It is massive. I want it though. I it's just so put, cool. I wrapped up my video. I said, "Man, I I gotta I gotta send this back, and I don't want to. <laughs> so I'm, like, I'm gonna have to buy one now." I literally said just now, two minutes ago, I was like, "I want to go live with this thing." That thing sounds so good. It, this, sounds it actually so good. does sound really good. This is the SM7B profile in broadcast mode, so it's the deeper one. It's like pillow talk. It sounds good. Did Did you already film your review on it? Yeah, I just finished it. I oh. just hit end, and I was just like, "All right, let me take a breath here." And I saw you guys jump in. Do you and needed a saying, suit? You should have done it in a suit with a thin tie and like a little um, hat on, like an yeah. old old school broadcaster. I get so excited just looking at it. Just it stokes the creative flames. Just the look of it, the feel of it, the sound of it. If the mood is right, the content is going to be right. And I'm just saying, sixty five dollars for this build quality, this look. Just the style. If you were to tell me that this was a $99 microphone right there with the Rode Pod Mic, build quality, podcasting feel, I would get this over the Rode Pod Mic at $99. So yeah, at $65, this is a steal. But that doesn't mean charge me $99, Memphis Blue. I'm just saying, if you would charge $99 for this microphone, I wouldn't balk at it one bit. I'd be happy. And the fact you're selling it at $65 just tells me that, you know what? Chris, since you send this to me and I got to send it back, I think I'm going to have to buy me one. It's just amazing. Again, this is no processing. And then if I want to throw some processing on it, and this sound right here, nice and relaxed, 51 dB a gain. And if that's too boomy for you, put it back in neutral mode and you're rocking and rolling with this sound too. doesn't matter what you do with this thing. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right. I'm done talking. I got to go. I got to end this video because I've been smiling this entire time. Uh, just messing with this microphone, and I've been I, I just been so giddy and smiling. My cheeks hurt, my face hurts, and uh, I want to feel my face again. So we're gonna end this. Uh, Ninety nine dollars would be awesome. Sixty five dollars. Now we're talking. Mm. <laughs> what am I doing? Well, future mic here. I'm editing my video, trying to get it up so you guys can watch this wonderful mic in action. And going through my footage, I have no comparison of this microphone against some of the other microphones in this price range. My bad. So I'm going to take a pause, go through my studio, and grab some microphones. Again, ranging from $50 up into $99. Why $99? Well, I did say, as I was watching this footage editing it, that I would have no qualms, no issues whatsoever if they told me this was a $99 microphone. I'd gladly pay that. Well, I guess I better put my money where my mouth is and put this up against my favorite $99 microphone, the Shure SM57, for spoken word and podcasting. Chef's kiss of a microphone. Absolutely love it. It's put up or shut up time for me. Let's get to it. Let's start off with our palate cleanser, the star of the video, the Memphis Blue. Here we go. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. He puts pineapple on his pizza, the Memphis Blue, at $65. This is the Vigu VM70. Why am I going with this microphone? Well, this just happens to be my favorite microphone right now in that $50 price range. Absolutely love it for a budget when you factor in build quality, performance, and just the style and look. It looks just like the Shure MV7. Even has the touchscreen top. I'm digging it. I'm liking it. And at $50, I'm loving it. But there you go. This is the Vigu VM70, Siblings and Plosives. Here we go. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. He puts pineapple on his pizza. The Vigu VM70. Back on the Memphis Blue. 
Again, $65. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. He puts pineapple on his pizza, the Memphis Blue. This is the Fine Fine AM8. Now, yes, it's purple, but it didn't come this way. Got me some vinyl wrap on Amazon and tinkered it up and spruced it up. And oh my goodness, it looks so good. I have a problem. Don't judge. I'm admitting it. I'm working on it. Bear with me. Or don't, because I'm not stopping. I don't care. I'm running off the cliff with this addiction I have with sprucing up my microphones and using things not as they're intended here on this channel. So here we go. This is the Fine Fine AM8. This goes from anywhere between $44 and $54, depending on the sales you find on Amazon. And this is an XLR USB combo mic. I love this microphone, especially for beginners getting into the audio space who don't really know how to EQ, have no interest in EQing. They simply want to buy a microphone, take it out of the box, plug it in, and run with it as it is. This microphone is amazing at that. Great sound out of the box. However, the knocks and the drawbacks on this one are, unlike the Memphis Blue and the Vague microphone we just heard with the all-metal body, this is made out of plastic, so it's not as durable as the other ones. The other drawback is the tension knobs on the side. No matter how tight you get this, when you try to use this with XLR cables, the weight of the cable will mess you up. It just doesn't matter how tight you get this. The weight of an XLR cable will move it. If you can overcome those drawbacks, simply putting on a boom arm and a set it, forget it setup, well, this could be for you. Let's hit the sibling's implosive test for the comparison. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. He puts pineapple on his pizza. The fine, fine AM8. Back on the Memphis Blue, here we go. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. He puts pineapple on his pizza. The Memphis Blue. Palette cleanser completed. This is the Mono PD200X. This is an XLR USB combo mic. Comes in anywhere between the high 60s, and you can get it on sale for as low as $54 on Amazon from time to time. What people really like about this microphone, it has a look similar to a SM7B style profile, if you will, and it also comes with a companion app in USB mode where you can plug it in and you can add some EQ, process it, do some different stuff with it, and also activate the RGB if that's your jam because everybody loves them some RGB apparently. Don't believe me? Miano PD100X. Oh my goodness. Anyways, we're not going to go there today. This is the Miano PD200X, little mid-forward microphone for you. Siblings and plosives. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, and he puts pineapple on his pizza. The Miano PD200X. All right, back on the Memphis Blue palette cleanser. On to the next microphone. This is the true test for me personally. How good is this microphone when I say that I would have no problems paying $99 for it? Well, put up or shut up time. This is by far and away at $100 my favorite microphone for spoken word live streaming podcasting. Chef's kiss. When you add the A2WS pop filter by Shore on top of it, you've got a masterpiece. Don't believe me? Well, when the White House needs a microphone for the president to speak to in their press conferences, this is the setup they go with. I can't think of anything more important or more vital to make sure good audio, powerful voice is just transferred and portrayed through the TV screens for spoken word than a president speaking from the White House. And this is what they go with, the Shore SM57 with this pop filter. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers and he puts pineapple on his pizza. Dynamic microphone, great at rejecting noise, background, you name it, it just does everything well. And I will say this for the record, of all the microphones out there that you can get at a budget price to try and get it close to that Shure SM7B sound, the Shure SM57 does that. If you don't believe me, check out Julian Krause's video where he EQ'd this thing. It was almost identical. It was crazy. He even gives you the settings on how to dial this in to be just like a Shure SM7B at 99 bucks. Siblings implosive test. Here we go. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers and he puts pineapple on his pizza. The Shure SM57. Now, let's try the final thoughts. First one didn't count because I didn't have a mic comparison in it. And, you know, that's just, it's not fair. Not fair to you guys. I mean, I'm going to tell you how awesome and how high I am in this microphone and yet not compare it to anything in here. At least not my favorites in this price range. Well, now we did. And I can honestly say I'm higher on it now than I was before the mic comparison. What stood out to me once I went into this and compared it with these other microphones 
Even compared to the AM8, it was to me the most crystal clear, the liveliest, the most energetic microphone. It was so crisp and so clear. It reminds me of how I feel when I'm using the Lewitt LCT240 Pro. And the Lewitt LCT240 Pro, in my opinion, in my studio, is my second favorite microphone of all time. So crisp, so clear, so concise. It just, man, when you're listening to it, you just feel like I'm going to miss out if I don't stay for the next sentence. This microphone, the Memphis Blue, gives me that same feeling. When I went back and listened to it, and I listened to it again, and then the third time, I closed my eyes and just sat here, and I was listening, and every microphone, including the AM8, Memphis Blue beat it out. I was surprised and impressed by the gap in which it separated itself from the pack. Even the Shure SM57, my favorite spoken word microphone for under $100, it had that SM7B feel. It had that dynamic, broadcasty sound. But every time I went back and listened to the Memphis Blue, it was just like, you know, you're listening to something that's cool and it's comforting and it's warm. And then you're just kind of drifting off. And then all of a sudden you'd switch to the Memphis Blue and it's like, hey, wake up. Something good's going on. What was that? It kind of gives you that feeling. And I love it. I love that. I really do. Pros, this microphone is a pro. Metal build quality, a beautiful, authentic radio style from the 50s and 60s microphone that you can sing and talk into. Now, I didn't test it out with vocals because you know what? I love you and I wouldn't torture you so, but it just has that like Elvis Presley uh, 1950s rock microphone. It has that, you know, AM radio or broadcasty look, that nostalgic look to it from the radio stations of the 50s and 60s. And I'm just telling you, when you've got this in your studio and it's attached to a boom arm, you just want to go live and you just want to start talking and sharing with people. If you find it hard to get motivated to create content, this microphone brings it out of you. It makes you excited. It makes you want to talk. It makes you want to share. That's a bonus. And then when you just sit back and you just try to process the fact that you're getting this sound with this kind of build quality, this performance, and this look for $65. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do other than I want one and you should too. The cons on this microphone, it doesn't even rub me the wrong way because proper mic placement deals with this and it should be that way with all microphones, but the plosives, it's really sensitive with plosives. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, he puts pineapple on his pizza. But again, when you're using it the way you should, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, he puts pineapple on his pizza. Problem solved, use the mic like you're supposed to. And at $65, can't really feel good about complaining about that the other knock on it was the handle and earlier i said we'll get to it later because i had some issues trying to connect it what were those issues the xlr input and the threaded input for your boom arms they're so close to each other that it will not work with certain xlr cables i noticed that the rode xlr cables that i have in my studio i cannot connect this to a boom arm and use that XLR cable. It has to be a different uh, XLR cable. The one I have right now is the Lux Pro. That fits. Because of how it is right here, I was unable to mount it directly to my boom arm. I had to get the extension that you see right here, about a three inch extension, and put it on there to give me some gap between the microphone and the boom arm itself to allow room for the XLR cable to snap in and not be pinched. Those are the only two things I noticed about it that was just like, eh, I don't care. I love it anyway. I love everything about it so much that I am willing to deal with it and never complain about it again. If I talk about it, it's just a warning to people who are getting it. Hey, you want this one? Just be sure to get yourself three inch spacer, spacer because it won't fit on a boom arm because of the way that the mount is built onto this thing. You need a little bit of space. And oh, by the way, whatever you do, as you should with all mics, proper mic placement. Otherwise, plosives are going to get you. Thank you, Chris, from Livestream Consultants. So if you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that way you're notified when future content goes up because it is a coming. I'm out. A hunk, 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 a burning love. A hunk, a burning love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ooh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ooh, yeah. Uh-huh.
I, I I don't know any Elvis songs. I wish I wish I remembered the Elvis songs. Blue suede shoes, a honka honka, a honka honka, a honka honka. Burning love. I, we're done here. Thank you.